Hey guys, Trevor Crutchley here today with a back with Fruit Basket episode 8. I am just going to warn you, I am trying out the dub for the first time this episode. So sorry if you're not a big fan of dubs, I just thought everyone's been saying in the comments how good it is. And I was just curious, I might as well just do it, try an episode out to see if I like it. Oh, and I'll probably leave a straw poll below. So feel free to go on a straw poll, uh, very few rather than me watching sub or dub. Whatever wins, I'll just continue the series with that. Depending on unless the episode comes out earlier in sub, then it probably would be sub. But I was interested to give it a go. I don't know what to expect, as I only watched the first couple episodes of the original dub cast, so I don't know how it's going to be. Um, but yeah, no, people have said it's good and it's decent, so I don't, mind, I don't mind giving it a shot. Other than that, last episode was fantastic. Great pass for the character. Just enjoyable to learn more about him. With like his whole situation with his girlfriend. And then like, Toru was helping him out pretty much, was pretty nice. Um, because he reminded of his ex, who's also moved on, which is a nice little that full circle for that stuff. And yeah, hopefully he can. Uh, he's dealing with it pretty well. It's a bit sad to see, see that somebody finally could open up to, and then that person he ended up feeling like he hurt that person and betrayed him, and then they've moved on and married someone else now. Well, it's just life. But I'm glad it's not just always going to end. Things don't always end in a happy ending, so it's nice that the show touched upon that. Um, and yeah, we got a little bit more about the Zodiac family. Um, clan along with um, we know the leader's someone to be wary of and I'm curious to know more of why she lost when ate a ship to be fair but yeah I'm looking forward to just going to this episode so if you like if you like this video guys please like and subscribe and along with that I'm doing the other season one anime along with a few live action shows so it'd be a pleasure to, a pleasure to have some of you join that journey but let's get into this oh, it's gonna be weird hearing the dub Mate, your voice is deep. It's great. Suits her. What's with that lush, rush of vibe going on with her? <laughs> you know what? The dubs, dubs for two, actually. I, or, I, I like to prefer. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't offend too many of you with the dub. I know some people get really upset about it, but I don't really mind. Oh, I like Kyo's voice. <laughs> you really having that much fun cleaning the deck? Yep. I love tidying up the house for New Year's with all of you. It's like a dream. <laughs> I honestly don't think that Toru Honda experiences the world the same way that other people do. <laughs> she accepted that we change into animals like it was no big deal. She even seemed excited about it. And her life's been much harder than most high schoolers her age. Yet, she's always smiling, acting like everybody for the holiday. Bit she actually asked. So, would it possibly be okay if I stayed here in your house for New Year's? Hmm. Of course, but is that really what you want to do? <laughs> I'm staying here too. <laughs> These two. I haven't been back in four months, so why should I break the streak just because a new year is starting up? I wonder why they want I'm to sure stay. <laughs> Love it. At least make an appearance for us, family. Right, Toru. Do I love the way you always draw him. So feminine like. Really? Wow. I wish I had the chance to see him perform. When will you learn to keep your mouth shut? One day. This banquet sounds incredible. And it's a lot like the Just invite, you've solved your problem. Oh wait, I've been actually. You have no idea how right. A while, right? I'm sure they look forward to seeing you. You don't want to disappoint them. Don't so wholesome. Me. I'll take good care of the house while you're away. I'll clean and water the plants. If she says she'll be fine, then shouldn't we trust her? Yeah, New Year's is always the same anyway. We just have to suck it up and get through it. Maybe so, man. Not have you move out. Make sure you don't lose each other in the crowds. We'll be fine. The streets will be empty. She'll be okay. I'm sure. She'll be lonely as hell. Since I saw you. You know, a few nights ago, she left her bedroom window wide open. Here's Mochi. Why would you even imagine something so horrible? <laughs> That's enough. Sound like a couple of new parents fretting over their child. 
think the criminal's still on the loose. <laughs> Crap, she's such an airhead while asking him to tell her his life story. It probably would be true, to be fair. Hey, come on, get a grip, okay? If you stand around... What troll? He's just like that. What the fuck? Oh, hi. I did not see you there. Does she always have to make a dramatic entrance? Where does one even buy a cloak like that? Why has she got a cloak like that? Where's the hat gone? Upset. I like the hat. There we go. She's never spent a New Year's holiday without her mother. And this time she won't have anyone. May I take properly guilt trip free people? <laughs> Mate, I know it's sad, but they fucking just brutalised them in one very fell swoop. Hello, make the imagery. Billy, you two, your dinner's waiting. <laughs> These two, I feel bad for them because one of them's got to be let down. If it comes, they do actually get together. You planned this. My whole speech was just to trick them into going back for it. You can't be understanding her. Fucking run. Yeah, she just hide quite easily behind the smile. She always seems like she's so carefree. You want to hear most. Oh, throw the song out there. We're getting flashbacks already, yes. Oh, that, 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 that was good. That's not a friend zone, no, guys. We're going to surpass this. Come on, Kyo. To go home right now. Oh, she was actually crying as well, mate. Hurry, I can explain. Oh, I was cutting onions. Yeah, that's it. Um, and you know, it's that time of year where where you just can't help but uh, by the songs people so sing, sad. happy people that are on mm. TV and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> He's too. <laughs> Yes, give me those sparkles. I'm always a sucker for that when anime does it. Mm, fair play. Well, I bet the family's not going to be happy. I guess the nail the foreign dub and sort of the foreign accent. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know if I have fucking say something like that. That's savage. I need to know more about Akuto. I need to know what happens. That she seems. Oh, God. She's piqued my curiosity. Totally going to sneak that bear later. Sable passed away, didn't pass away that long ago. She's dealing with it really well. <coughs> it's got to know though she still puts up some sort of wall. It's interesting to break down. I'm freaked out. It's like Deadpool of this universe. Happy New Year's. Deep down. <sighs> oh, I'm satisfied. Deep down. I'm really glad they remade this. That's really good. Sure. Good luck with 
<laughs> Passive aggressive, sure. Good luck with that. It's going to be a wonderful new year. Do, 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 do. God, the ending song's great on me. I really like the ending song. <laughs> Don't know if I, I'm the only one. Quite curious. I'll check my enemy list for a while. See what's trending. At the moment, Fruit Basket's pretty high on the trending list. That's all right. I'm glad. I'm glad. I won't show if a lot of people will go and pass on it. Yep, definitely a fun episode. I like how the hit on like um obviously Terry puts up the happy faces. We've known for a while she does that. And obviously being a like <coughs> first New Year's of that and must be half more and the fact that she just smiled and like she did ask to see if she could stay at the house but she didn't want to bother her friends even though they offered to for her to stay. And then on top of that she just sort of sees them leave and then sits there. I like the little women where she just like when they walked in she's just got a picture of her mum on the table and she's just like tearing up and she would have literally been on like alone for quite a while. So it's a good thing they came back and checked upon her. So yeah, I'm glad they did that. I did that. It's always going to make me curious though like, when the romance starts are brewing on this show. Like I feel like I'm going to feel bad for one of them. Like even though I ship uh, Terry and Kia, I'm going to feel really bad for either one of them if they don't get with her. But yeah, uh, a really interesting episode. I love the art style on this show. It's so good, especially when the sunrise came up. And like I said, the ending songs definitely grow on me quite a lot. And it's nice to see uh, Dog Boy is in a force there. Because like, it just doesn't seem like someone who would do that. And he just like, he seemed mildly happy about what you wouldn't think would come from him. Because he seems like he's such a reasonable guy as well. So yeah, I'm really I'm curious to learn more about Akida. And yeah, no, great episode. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. It's like, there's two on a trot now that have been really, really good. I've enjoyed that episode quite a lot, to be fair. But other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed my reaction. Hope to see you next week, and peace.